Alright, boys and girls. We are back with Brunhilda in the magic realm in the garden. <coughs> Apparently. Oops. And we are gonna go on our broom and fly to dragons. Whee! This oh. is actually pretty cool. Make sure to cruise low over the hamlets. Too bad we have no radio in here. Yeah, I was like cruising low. That was chapter two. We did 31 quests in 40 minutes. We are now level two apprentice. Time for chapter three. The lovely loading screen here. Chapter three. Expect the unexpected. Oops. I'll be the one to save the magical realm, no doubt about it. But better safe than sorry. Nothing personal, Brunelia. <laughs> or whatever your name is. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks. Did you feel that? Looks like the old broom gave up on us. Hold tight, and please try crashing into something soft. Sure. Isn't this a bit... Like, aren't you being a bit of a, like, an idiot? Because if you fail, then we're screwed if you're killing everyone else who could possibly, like, doesn't matter who saves the world, isn't saving the world, like, number one, and who does it, number two. Priorities? I don't know. Is it, is that your priorities wrong? Arena? Woods? I knew things like this would happen the moment Philemon used the words quest and adventure in one sentence. And now my bag is full of pine needles and we are stuck in this eerie forest. We could have been worse off, Mr. Grumpy. I think I've seen a town far above. Maybe we should go there. It must have been a town called Forest Edge. If we can get there, we could find a crystal ball and contact Philemon. He would know what to do. And don't call me Grumpy. I am thousands of years older than you are, and I just know how these adventures are. Next thing we know, something tries to eat us. Let's move. We have to reach that town before nightfall. Dude. Doesn't matter how old you are, you can still be grumpy. Hey, you two. Human and demon. I can show you the way to the town. I am heading there with thingies for sale. Just help me with disarming these traps. This place is not safe for a merchant engineer like me. If you can disarm them with your human magic, we could go before something eats us here. Human magic? <laughs> okay. Sure. Call trap and trap. Did he just say traps and eat us? I knew it. I just knew it. Shh. Impressive. Be quiet, dude. Oh, not you. Oh, I have all the traps. Um, just need one more of those thingies. There it is. I think I can pass with my cart now. Let's go before something notices us here. Awesome. Go to town. Hamlet. There you are. What took you so long, human? If only you knew what bloodthirsty creatures inhabit this forest. But we are safe now, and for that, thank you. You mentioned crystal balls. You should try asking the local herbalist. He deals in all kinds of those magical human thingies. I deal in solid goblin engineering, you see. Okay, what the crap is this? What? Right, we are going to the herbalist shop. What is this? Hello? Anybody here? Over here! Excuse me, but I have to hide here. You see, I have a... Uh, condition that makes me allergic to the sunlight. And some joker bored holes in my shop walls letting all that light in. Can't you just tell me you're a vampire? It would be so much easier. That shouldn't be a problem. We will find some rags and seal the light off. Okay, eight rags! Let's go. No rags in here. Here we go. 
Oh, I, I was like, don't walk into the creepy dude staring at you. Okay, that was a rag. Awesome. I'm assuming we're gonna have to find pipes and these fruit thingies. It's a sock! Ooh, uh, um, garlic. Horseshoes and spray. Oh, so much stuff we're gonna have to find over here. Ah, oh, no, all the rags are here, actually. Why did I, why did we have to pick up underwear, though? <laughs> Legit rag? Well... Two more rags. Yes, that was an enormous rag right there, and that might be a rag. That should be enough. Whoops. Now we can seal the light off. Sorry. I didn't mean to click. Uh. I have to keep Oops. the doors open. Hello. This is much better. Thank you, Traveler. How may I help you? We need a set of crystal balls in working condition. Could you help us with that? Nah, but I want a crystal ball that's not working. Aww. I think I have a few fine sets somewhere around here. Although I'm not sure if they are in working condition. Or should I rather say, they are antiques of great value. Yes, yes. Still, such commodities have their price. Do you have enough gold? I can see that you don't. Then maybe you could help me arrange exposition in a shop in exchange for the crystal balls. If that means find things for me, then sure. Yep, I am totally already doing this, so why not? Ah, all the stuff's in here, cool. Uh, what are these things? Oh, rabbit feet and crocodile eyes. Okay. Excellent. Yep. I'm just that good. Let's see here. Is there anything up here? There we go. There's something. Uh. We still have two eyes, two rubber feet, and one lizard. Uh, okay, no rabbit feet left, but one lizard and two eyes, right? Oh, one eye left. One eye and one lizard. There's a lizard. Now, then, where's the last eye? Oh, there are lots of. Cool! Yes, thank you. I will move those to the front. Need to get rid of those rabbit feet soon. Their expiration date is nearing. But back to the crystal balls. They are yours, lady. There are many lying around here. Find them so we can choose a matching set in best condition. Oh, thank you! Why is this not your job, dude? Those two are linked, good, but they are missing power sources. Did I mention batteries are not included? Those things run on goblin battery packs. You would have to find some goblin engineer for these. Ha ha! I think there is one outside, and he owes us a favor. Lucky! Yeah. Hello again. Do you happen to have some, uh, goblin batteries for sale? Well, I did bring batteries with me so I could exchange them for horseshoes. You see, it was not always me pulling that cart, but when I was speeding through the forest, I lost half of my merchandise. Not to mention that human king declared horseshoes strategic goodies, and they won't sell me any. Listen, maybe if you could find some horseshoes for me, and those lost batteries, I will give them to you for free. Hmm? Sure. Okay, so some of the stuff is here. 
Not all of it. Cool, cool. Okay, so horseshoes are very important, but for some reason, people are just letting them lay around here. Oh, the spray flask thingies were batteries. There's one horseshoe left over here. Um, there it is. Excellent. Now that let's go to the woods because he left. He lost his batteries. Oh, there are some horseshoes at the herbalists. Welcome to our magical forest, travelers. Would you like to join us, the forest fairies, for the summer festival? Nope. With guests like you, it would be a delicious party. No, thank you. Thank you, but you see, we are in a hurry. We just have to find some batteries, and we won't be bothering you any longer. I see. That is most unfortunate. If you have to intrude upon us in our mystic forest and refuse our kind invitation, yep. at least help us with the preparations and gather other coarse uh, guests for us. Forest creatures are all invited, but they love playing hide and seek with us. Find them, and you will be free to look for your lost property here. Okay, this fairy is really creepy. Why are you eating me, fairy? Stop eating me, fairy. Uh, really? Okay, I guess there were five hairs in here. Ooh! Last one. Do you guys see it? Of course you see it. Oh, it's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. If you need my help, just this spot looks promising. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, awesome. Excellent. They will go with Unicorn very well. Until the next time, traveler. And try keeping it quiet while looking for those batteries. Her voice super creepy. <laughs> Jeez. Um. That's a violent feast in there. Bye bye. Here we go. Horseshoes. You won't mind if I just come in here and, you know, pick some stuffs, right? Not too left. There we go. And one more horseshoe. Thank you. Should have been that, but it wasn't. Um, here we go. Hey, goblin. You have them all? You made it through the forest in one piece? You are lucky you haven't met the man-eating fairies. Well. They look innocent, but sure are worse than piranhas with rabies. Anyway, here are your charged batteries. Uh, I think we met them. I don't think those festival guests are going to be grateful to us after all. Nope. Let's contact Philemon now. Put batteries into the balls, and then tune the balls to his lab's magical frequency. Oh, calibrate crystal balls. Oh, telepathy. We haven't done telepathy yet. This is telepathy level one. Seems like we have some magical noise here. It usually happens with long distance crystal ball calls. Try to calibrate the crystal balls. Find the differences between these two images to improve the signal's quality. Arcanicom Mobile Connecting Wizards. Oh, geez. It's. It's. Haha! <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 it's, like, mirrored, too. <laughs> no, this is so hard, it's mirrored, too. Oh, why? Three, four more? I have no idea. Oh. There we go. Uh... I'm gonna like click on everything, I think. Yeah. Well. No. 
<sighs> oh, all the mortars! What? There we go. Yeah, telepathy! Yeah, bad calibrations. Eight, yeah, I just random click there. Ooh, that was not good, but we're still at level two. We're still level two. Brunhilda? And the demon? What happened? Our broom crashed. Looks like Verena had her part in it, too. She seems to be thinking this is some kind of race, and is determined to make sure we won't make it to the mountains before her. Now we are stuck in the town of Forest's Edge. Verena did that? Oh my, she was always ambitious and so eager to make use of her spells. I'm starting to wonder if sending her was such a good idea after all. But don't you two worry. I have a friend in Forest's Edge. We used to go on adventures together, and he surely will take you to the mountains. Ask for Vincent. He should be easy to find. He is a half-carriage oh, no. after all. No, not the creepy carriage, dude. Oh, dear. Excuse me, are you Vincent? Oh, hello there, lady. I sure am. But if you need me to transport anything, then I'm afraid it is impossible. You see, since magic started leaving this world, my health is getting worse and worse. Not to mention you ain't got any wheels, dude. But this is very important. Master Falman told us that you can carry us to the Dragon Mountains. Philemon, this must be a fine adventure if he's behind this. I'll gladly help you, lady. But the road to the mountains is a dangerous one, and you'll have to help me prepare. We'll need some supplies and a new set of magical wheels for me. Demon, why do you look so bleak? <laughs> I can't travel in carriages. I get motion sickness. Says the demon who lives in a bag. That won't be a problem. Just ask the herbalist for a motion sickness medicine. Alright, Mr. Bag Demon. Excuse me, do you happen to know any cure for motion sickness? A motion sickness? Certainly. For someone like you, a few mint leaves should do the trick. And if I need medicine for someone with more demonic nature? Oh, I see. Well, it is still a simple recipe. You will be able to prepare it by yourself. Find some bird eggs and mandragore roots. Those are easy to spot, since they resemble little humans. Now we're getting the eggs! And all these men How did you spot everywhere. that? Excellent! Mm, yeah, I was gonna say, there are no eggs in here. There we go. We have lots of eggs out here, though. Lots, but a couple. Apparently we have one more. Mm. I'm just waiting for someone to ask us about the garlic. And the um, pipes and the crossbows. Where's the last eggs, though? Where are the last eggs? Oh, there it is. Oh. Woods? Okay, you Impressive. stay behind that bush, please, man-eating fairies. I really do not need you. I guess we have it all. Now let's simmer it a little. Oh. Oh, alchemy! Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Alchemy level three. Such a pro! Yeah, you got hundred percent. We are now level four apothecary. Or we are level four, and level four is called apothecary, not apothecary. Apothecary. It's a little too bitter for my taste, but thanks anyway. Now that I can think about traveling in carriages, we can go and talk with Vincent. 
Our demon friend is ready? Great. Please find these supplies first. My smoking pipes and crossbows. I will need to stay awake and ready to defend during the travel. What did I tell you? Crossbows and pipes. Is waiting. There, there's a wheel there. Uh, now we're just waiting for um, the garlic and the uh, whatever these are, right? There's another wheel for him. So one more pipe here. And then they are somewhere else. Uh, that last pipe, though. There's another wheel. There's a wheel. Okay, there are four wheels out here. That last pipe, though. I have a good feeling about this area. Oh, you do, do you? Oh, jeez. Hello. Ha, that was too big in the corner. Like, whoa. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Oh yeah, we are looking for pipes. I was like, am I looking for the right thing? Haha, <laughs> there's supposed to be four pipes in here. I'm finding zero. Come on, I should be able to find like one or two at least. Or not? There, finally. They are small and hidden here. Impressive. All right, last one. This spot looks ah, promising. Here we go. Perfect. With that many crossbows, I won't have to reload if we get attacked by harpies. Now, my magical wheels. They were stolen when I was asleep. I guess anything magical makes people do crazy things these days. To create a new set of wheels, you'll have to cast a spell. For that, regular wheels are needed as an ingredient. Well, we know where all the wheels are. There we go. But... I do realize that um, this is a longer episode than we've ever had, so we're gonna take a break right here. We're gonna make the magic wheels for Win, Vin, Vin, Win, blah, 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 for Vincent next time. Like a Ken Tar, but he's like half carriage instead. Anyways, then we're going to the dragons and all the crazy adventure stuff that's gonna happen. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Brunhilda and the Dark Crystal, and I'll see you later.